challenge when he takes on the Ring of Fire in August. Uh, it's Paul Roberts, he's 45, he's from Oakridge, and he's already completed the daunting marathon the Sable earlier this year, which saw him running a marathon every day for a week in temperatures of 50 degrees in Morocco. He's looking quite well on it though, because he's in front of me now. Paul, are you mad? I had it. Uh, well, I don't seem to be able to help myself, I'm afraid, and uh, I thought the marathon de Sable might just end my career, but uh, it seems I'm, uh, I need to uh, find other events to enter. I said to him, well, while we're just waiting for Trevor, I said, oh, I said, it's always surprised me because obviously you run with an ironing board as well, don't you? That's right, and uh, obviously a travel iron. Yeah, uh, and I said, because like, like a marathon's not hard enough, but you've, you've done all these marathons together with an ironing board, and he said to me, well, I'm not even really a runner. <laughs> well, I, I beg to disagree with you, Paul. Well, I'm, I'm sort of 15 stone, so I'm, I'm a bit big to be a runner, but uh, I do enjoy getting out there, and obviously this event is a very long way, and it's more about endurance than, uh, than speed or how light a foot you are, you've just got to keep going. It's like attrition, really. It's a war of attrition, yeah. Over just over 200, uh, sorry, 131 days. This particular race, I'm, I nearly gave you a clue there as to something else I'm looking at uh, uh -huh. for next year. But uh, 131 miles with 14,000 feet of climbing um, on, uh, on Anglesey around the full um, coastal path very brutal course apparently and you've got just over two days to to get around this is the ring of fire this yeah. is the ring of fire yeah they say it's the hardest ultra marathon uh, in the country so as a non-runner obviously looking for a challenge you may as well go uh, the whole hog you're not a non-runner paul i hate <laughs> to keep saying this to you but you're not you are not if you can do that you are a runner um and, and of course just explain roughly what is extreme ironing is it just literally running with an ironing board it it makes well, extreme ironing is, is all sorts of things. It's basically um, crazy guys and some women who take an ironing board in an iron, get a photograph at an opportune moment. It can be scuba diving, it can be skydiving, it can be anything you want to do. I'm just taking it sort of into this tangent of running and ultra running. Um, it makes no more sense than that, really. Why? Obviously, St. Richard's. Uh, St. Richard's Hospice is a fantastic cause. Uh, I raised some money for them earlier this year, but not as much as I wanted to. So another chance to get some funds for them. Uh, and just because, really. Um, you know, life's short, and uh, I like to set myself a challenge and show people that pretty much anything's possible. And uh, if I can do this, then I think anything is possible, really. OK, well, if people want to support you, you said it's for St. Richard's, which is, is a fantastic cause. Have you got a, a giving website and all that kind of Yeah, thing? if they go onto the Just Giving website, website and type in Paul Roberts they'll find me or there's a link through the St Richard's website so uh, if they can fit us, um have a few pounds that they can spare, that would be fantastic. And you need a new ironing board at the moment as well, don't I you? Did. I did. Uh, when I finished the Marathon de Sable, uh, I'd had enough of it then at that particular point, so I gave the ironing board away on the finish line, so I do need to purchase another, uh, hopefully, lightweight ironing board this time. That lightweight one, yeah. <laughs> I think that's probably a very good idea. So if anyone's got one, spare. Let's uh, try and save you a few quid. Absolutely. Give it to the charity instead. If anyone's got uh, an ironing board, a lightweight one that Paul can have, then uh, donate it to us. We'll recycle it in his direction. Fantastic. Uh, good luck with it. Many thanks. And uh, training tonight, you're out running in this? I am running tonight, actually, and the, the weather is starting to get to me. I think I'm going rusty, but... Uh, How many it, miles tonight? I just do a couple of hours. Um, just a couple of hours? <laughs> I'm going out for a while. I'm going to do a couple of kilometres. You're going to do a couple of hours? <laughs> yes. Um, oh. it, it is about long runs. The, the longest day, the Saturday, is 64 miles, so obviously... Uh, 64 miles in one day? Yeah. Yeah, that's incredible. Now, hats off to you. And uh, good luck with it all. Many thanks. Thanks, Paul. Paul Roberts, uh, Worcestershire's extreme ironer, who's not a runner, despite the fact he can do 60-plus miles in a day. Yeah, whatever. Uh, it's 24 minutes past five on BBC Hereford and Worcester. Another number.